Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grubigly with another episode of Gaming with Grubigly, and I'm once again playing another random one shot from over here on lag.com. This is a game that's simply titled Elastic Balls, and this is a game that has very simplistic gameplay, but it's very addictive gameplay. This is the type of game where you have sort of like an idle mechanic. Now, for those of you who have never played like tapper or clicker style games, where you sort of just like tap a screen and you amass currency and then you can level up what you're doing in the game more and more this will be a fun experience for you and I think it's gonna be a fun experience for me as well because this sounds like it has a more active mechanic apparently we have to like drag a ball around a screen to destroy other balls and that's how we get our money and then we can level up stuff that you see here on the bottom of the screen but anyway let's go ahead let's get started stop talking about the game itself oh okay what is happening what is going on? Okay, I died already. <laughs> I have no idea what was happening there. I think what I was doing was like, I was just the one ball. Let's go in again. Yeah, so I'm this little white ball. Okay, yeah, all right, yeah. So wherever I click, oh my God, you get like a string and then you have to get the balls that are going by. And then, uh, okay, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that bar, okay. I'm guessing this bar in the middle here with a five on it. Is that like the number of, of balls that I'm allowed to let go by? Oh yeah, once they hit the screen that goes down, so that's like my lives. Okay, so I have to I have to whip it around. You can't hold on to the ball forever either. It drops out of your, your reach, essentially. So you have to just like whip it around and like hope, hope that the momentum helps out. Now there's a number of different power-ups down here. I've already gotten 30 coins from the balls that I've destroyed. And you'll see it's really rapid for it goes in really quick spits you back out to the home menu so that you can level up stuff i don't know what any of these things are so i'm gonna go with the one that's on the far right kind of looks like all right yeah it looks like I, i've added another ball maybe and then this one looks uh the one next to it looks like it's an expansion so i think we just added a ball and made the balls bigger uh to it, like the balls that i used to destroy the other balls and then I don't know what this one is with the like sort of slope and like the clock on it, but I might as well level that up a couple times, see what it does. Maybe it makes them go uh, slower or something. I don't know, or gives me more. I, I have no idea, I have no idea. But all I know is having, okay, having two is dope already. This is already great. Okay, so I'm sort of getting the hang of it. If I just click sort of like in the middle of the screen and let them go, like just bounce everywhere, they kind of almost, they hit almost all of them. I, I let one go just there, but. I, I mean, we're already up to so many more. Heaven 2 is so ha handy. And then sometimes, like, you don't even have to click. Like, the they'll just run into your, your balls that are, like, hanging out by the bottom of the screen. But this is good stuff. Okay, this is good stuff. Yeah, all right. We're already over 100 coins. Holy cow. So you'll see here, this is how it picks up the pace. This is how these types of games, you get more and more stuff. You get uh, more and more power-ups until it's just pure chaos on the screen. I mean, this is already pretty chaotic. Some of these are going up really fast and they're at weird angles. It's hard to hit them all. Oh my gosh, let me hit them all. Please, let me hit them all. No! Oh no, I think I need the balls to increase in size. I think I need uh, also maybe more of them or something like that. Uh, I don't know what this one in the middle is, but it's very enticing. I'm gonna click it. It's like three different shades of ball. I don't know what that's for. Uh, we can also give ourselves more lives so we don't die as fast. And again, I don't know what this thing is doing, but maybe now that I just put a ton of money into it, maybe we'll figure that out right away. Oh, okay. I don't know. I, I think that this was from the multicolor balls, but I think that, okay, these, these other ones, these new ones, these darker ones, oh my God, they give three coins each. So you level up faster or you get more money faster. That's actually awesome. Okay, cool. So we want to put like more money into that skill point for sure. Oh my gosh. There's so much going on. It's wild. All, all it is is the sounds of balls bouncing and popping. Going everywhere. Dang. Okay. All right. Uh, get them. Get them. Get them. Get them. Don't let any buy. Don't let any buy me. So if you sort of like incessantly tap near the middle of the screen, you can you can get a lot of them just by the laws of chaos and physics. Okay. There we go. Almost up to 300 coins already too. This is great. Okay. This is really great. Now I want to try something really quick, even though I'm on a run right now, even though I'm doing really well. Even though I'm doing really, really well. Actually, I might not have to. Some of these balls are going by so fast. If I just leave these here on the bottom, yeah, okay. I, I still managed to get like a bunch of uh, extra coins there. Okay. I was going to hit the home button that was up in the corner of the screen. 
and see if that's something that would take me back to the main menu here where I can just invest more points um, or if it would erase all my coins. I have no idea. I added another ball though because why the heck not? Why the heck not? Why would I not add another ball? Look at this. This is just crazy. Now I have like a morning star of like destructive balls that are going to destroy the other ones and give me more money. Yes, I'm going to be the richest, the richest in the land. Oh my gosh. So I'm assuming if I put more skill points into the uh, multicolor picture, maybe we'll get even better uh, more valuable balls to destroy and we'll get money even quicker then and this is again how these types of games for those of you who never played them sort of get you hooked because you're just like oh if I level up this next thing it's going to be even easier to get more money and then once I have more money more skill points and then once I have more skill points easier to get more money and it's a vicious cycle forever and ever but it's so fun these types of games are so casual but they're like extremely relaxing for that exact reason I'm going to get up to 500 and then I'm going to try my home button thing okay home button yes okay you keep your coins that is awesome that is awesome we're actually six coins away from adding another ball but i think i'm gonna put them Ooh, i can level that up twice so maybe i get two new types of valuable balls oh yeah up to seven coins oh my god we got fives we got threes we got uh sevens oh my god our money is going up so fast now that is dope and yeah i i have a feeling once you get enough uh enough balls added in there you're able to just like, you can kind of leave them like near the bottom of the screen and it will al allow you to uh, just like go ahead and uh, uh, like carpet the entire bottom and, and just sort of cheese it. And then you get like extra coins just by sitting there and doing nothing really with your time. Oh man, those went by fast. And I think I just realized, I think I just figured out what this second to the left symbol is with a little clock on it and like sort of like the graph. I think that's how long you can hold onto the ball. So like the longer or the more points I put into that, the longer I can hold onto the balls and have more fine tuned control with them, which is really awesome. Now I'm divided though, guys. Now I'm incredibly divided about adding another ball or if I wanna make the balls bigger or if I wanna add more uh, variations. Well, I think I wanna add more variation because again, that is what's getting us our big money. That's the, oh yeah, up to nine. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be able to afford things immediately with this amount. Okay, 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 no, 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 no. Stay away from the top. Yeah, 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 okay. We got them all. It's now this is, a, I mean, it's like chaos at this point. It's just pure chaos, but it's great. It's great chaos. It's fun. It's arcadey. It's fast. It's simple. You don't even really have to do much. You sort of can zone out during these types of games, which I love. Uh, like I play these types of games on my phone all the time. Just hang out, you know, in bed and just like wind down for the night playing these types of games because they don't take like a ton of brain power, but they do take like enough engagement that they're still fun and they're still a little bit challenging. As you see, these balls just whip by at a thousand miles an hour. Oh my God, speaking of a thousand, we're about, oh yeah, we hit a thousand. One thousand coins. Oh my gosh, we're so rich. We're freaking rich, man. This is awesome. Okay, and we ran out of lives, but that's okay. I'm all right with running out of lives because look at, I'm, oh man, I wish I had more money, but that's okay. I just increased the size of the ball. Oh, and we have the max number. Okay, so there is a limitation. You can't coat the whole floor with the balls and just like expect to get, although that, look at the size of these. These, these are, are doing a good job of covering a wide surface area, but you can have only up to four balls. So there are limitations. It doesn't want you to become too godlike in this game. I see, I see. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. It keeps it a little bit challenging. Like I was saying before, keeps it so engaging, so fun. Allows you to just do more and more. I wonder what happens if we invest more points into the, the growth, into the size of these massive, massive, massive spheres of death and destruction. Oh my gosh, we are, we are getting rich. Oh my God, we're getting rich. We're getting so rich. This is awesome. This is so amazing. I, I, I know probably to you guys who aren't playing it right now, which you absolutely should after you're done watching this video, if you haven't already, but like this probably doesn't look like a lot's going on or it looks like really simple or stupid or something like that. But that's the joy of these games. Like I said, you can sort of turn off your brain and just be amused by the fun shapes bouncing around. And a lot of this stuff, like even though I'm clicking here and there, I it's not like I'm making super calculated choices here. This is like just nice and easy to zone out with. All right, we just increased the size of the balls and the value of them as well. Oh my God. Look how large they are. Oh my God, we're up to 11 now, by the way. 
up to 11. Oh, 13, up to 13, by the way. So it's like, you just get infinite money at this point. I mean, I, I, I feel like, I feel like very soon, uh, I'm gonna max out the size as well. I feel like there's gotta be a limit on those because if there's not, it's like, you, you will take up the whole screen and you'll never be able to r die. You'll never be able to run out of hearts. You'll always have like unlimited money coming in, basically. All right, I think I'm gonna get up to 2000, which is gonna be in one second here. And then we're gonna go back to the home screen. I wanna keep adding size to that. That's amazing that you can just, oh my God, they're huge. That's so huge. That's a, like one click upwards when they fall back down, they hit like every single one on the way down. If I just do that, Oh man, side to side, you, you clear out pretty much everything and then you can just clean up whatever's uh, actual threat to you afterwards. Like that's incredible, that's so cool. This game is awesome, super fun, super casual, but super fun. Oh, we actually let one by. Oh, I just realized too, the, the more they're worth, the more damage they do to the number of hearts you have, I think. Otherwise there's like a bunch that were disguised in there, but I think it's like based on like their worth. So adding worth to the balls actually adds some risk as well. These are, are massive. Okay, these are massive. This is just getting silly at this point. This is all you gotta do. Like, this is awesome. This is so cool. <laughs> I already have enough coins to like level up again. So we're gonna go back to the home screen. Yeah, okay, we hit the max. The max is 10 on the size, but at that point, you're just farming so many coins so quick that you can buy whatever power up you want. But that's gonna be it for this game, guys. Elastic Balls, a lot of fun, super simple. Hopefully you enjoyed my video on it. If you did, please, please, please check this game out over here on lag.com. And as always, it was great seeing ya. Buh bye bye